what up and welcome to my channel and today i'm making another snacky snack it's been a while since i made a snacky snack but i made these chicken crack pinwheels and they were bussing okay super bussing so we're gonna get into it make sure you like share comment and subscribe because we're gonna get into it because this was an easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so let's get into it so first off, I'm using burrito tortillas. Now you can use whatever tortilla you want to use. Okay, whatever your heart desires, but that's what I'm using. I'm going to start off with warm your tortilla up or tortillas. Warm them up just so they won't rip. You know, it's, it's always a precaution just to be safe. Just warm them up so you won't have to worry about ripping them when you're rolling them. You know, so I started off with smearing on my jalapeno cream cheese. Okay, now this snack is perfect for you cream cheese lovers like myself. I love cream cheese. I love that they got so many flavored cream cheeses. Cause at first, you know, it's not one thing. Cause at first, I th I thought in the beginning it was just gonna be like, you know, you got the regular cream cheese, and then you know, then you got your fruits cream cheese. But they got the garden veggie. It's just so many cream cheeses, and they I love them. Okay, and I love a snack with cream cheese because it's so filling. And this, I was in obviously in the mood for spice. Now, I could have easily went for the buffalo chicken cream cheese. I've used that before. I've also used this jalapeno cream cheese before too. But, you know, this sounded good for the idea that I was going in mind. I didn't want nothing too heavy. I just wanted to be able to have a snacky snack, you know, for on the go. Because that's what this is perfect for. On the go, Okay. This is perfect for if you packing it for your kids' lunch, packing it for your own lunch, you know? It works. Then I added some Monterey Jack cheese, okay? I added that on. Now, usually, I one thing I will say, if you look at my past pinwheel videos under my Snacky Snack playlist, that's where they are. Um, Like, I did the rolling process different, okay? Now, this I didn't do. This I don't normally do my pinwheels like this where I like spread it on like a pizza like I'm doing. I usually just put it on the edge and do like a layer of everything. Like, that's how I've normally done it in the past. I don't know why I didn't do it like that. I think I just really wanted to try something different, but this, I mean, you know, doing it this way ain't that bad, but I prefer to do it with, I just make that little one line at the end and then just roll it so then I won't have to worry about nothing. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a different technique to rolling your pinwheels and assembling your pinwheels, you know? So I added some leftover chicken after I added my Monterey Jack cheese. This is banana peppers and chopped up dill pickles, okay? I don't like sweet butter pickles. I've said it before. We ain't doing sweet butter pickles over here, fam, okay? It's not for me. I don't like them. I don't like sweet pickles. Give me... I'm a dill girl all day, okay? All day, you know? I'm not doing that. I don't like dill. But banana peppers and pickles, like, it's on the bottom that just go together for me. That's why I said I could have went with the buffalo cream cheese, too, because whenever I'm doing something buffalo, I tend to put banana peppers and pickles on it, too, like wraps, you know. So then I added some bacon. As you can see, it said real bacon bits. I have to make sure it's real. I ain't doing that, you know, that artificial stuff. We ain't doing artificial, okay? You can just some real bacon. You can make it yourself if you want to. But like I said, this is an easy peasy meal. Super simple. We ain't doing nothing too crazy. Then I went ahead and added some ranch seasoning. Mm-hmm. Use whatever. This might also be good with the Fiesta Ranch. If you can find that, I might try something with that next time. But go ahead and add your ranch like this. I just added it all over and I added, I went in with a little bit of Chipotle Ranch, Southwest Chipotle Ranch. Okay. Got this from Walmart. So just look in the ranch area and you're going to see it. Okay. Wonderful addition. Okay. Delicious. Then I went ahead and rolled it up. Okay. Rolled this thing up. Now it became a problem toward the end. Now I say, leave that right here. That little part right here, leave that out. Okay. Don't pack it all the way to the end to the edge like i did right here because i'm gonna end up scooping that little that you see that little piece of right there i'm gonna end up scooping that out okay so don't do it all the way leave a little space before you get to the other end of your tortilla leave the other space leave a little space like right there though so you won't have to do this just don't pack the meat the ingredients all the way over just kind of leave some space before so you could just kind of like honestly it's like rolling up okay it's just like rolling up that stuff man that's what that's what we do it's like rolling that thing up rolling like you're rolling up a a rello you know anything rolling just make sure you roll it up tight okay this is good this up uh, goes out to my expert you know my stoners and my smokers out there you know you if you know what i know if you know what you know and know how to do it 
roll this up, okay? It's just a little bigger than what you're probably used to smoking. Because, it, it, either way, we're going to get out of that. But roll it up, I put up, I ended up making like three rolls of these. I thought I recorded the rest of it, but only got me making one of them. The other ones I did make like how I just said, where I just made like a little line, like a, a line of the ingredients, and then I just rolled it up so it was easier to seal, basically. You want it to be able to e easily be able to seal. You don't want no ingredients seeping out, you know, coming out, all that. So that's all it did. And I just wrapped it in saran wrap and I put them in the refrigerator. You can refrigerate overnight so it can really stick and seal. You put it in there for just a few hours. You know, it's really, you know, it's really up to you. It's up to you. Okay. But it was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. Okay. So yeah, that's all we're doing. We're just going to wrap them up in saran wrap. This was after a few hours because I wanted to see what they was hidden on. And, you know, I'm just going to cut them up. Just cut them up and, well, chop them up. Chop them up in the pinwheel size. You can chop them up as thin or as thick as you want because there's loads of ingredients in this. So you can chop it real thin. I wouldn't recommend doing it too thin, but as thin as or as thick as you want, okay? This is a perfect little snacky snack. Now for the chicken that I put on there, because I said I put leftover chicken on this. I just seasoned that, okay? Paprika, black pepper, okay? A little bit of lemon pepper. Okay, and some season salt. That's it. Literally. It was so simple, so minimal. The ingredients were super minimal, okay? Didn't have to do too much. I didn't want to do too much with the chicken because I knew I was going to end up using it how I use it, you know? So, that's what this one looked like. Perfect snacky snack. And then with that Southwest Chipotle ranch we put on there, wonderful addition, okay? You ain't even got to worry about dipping it because some people like to dip their pinwheel. This, the ranch on there, Okay. Cause Walmart, who anybody that sell pinwheels in they in they restaurant, I'm not in the restaurants, but anybody that sell pinwheels in the stores, this better than the store pinwheels, okay? This better than the store. You ain't, then you can make so many, cause you know the store only give you so many, okay? The most common place I recall seeing pinwheels is Walmart. I don't see too many people selling pinwheels that much, but these were better, okay? Because Walmart, my favorite pinwheel of theirs, I believe, is between the Italian and the chicken bacon ranch. But this is like combining all of them, minus the Italian part, I guess. But a chicken bacon ranch, but I'm calling them chicken crack pinwheels. Make sure you try, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Because these are delicious. You know, we love a snacky snack, okay? Make them. Let me know, okay? 10K, we on the way. 10K, we on the way.